<laughs> I know, it's very early, you know, but I said, let's, let's just get into it. You know, we're in the holiday mood a little bit. It's getting cold outside. Snow, I'm sure, will be among us very shortly. So the question is, what do you guys get people when you buy people watches? So I actually got something special for you. Oh, what did you get? Yeah, so I spent some time thinking about what would be the perfect CQ watch. Uh, it looks like you already know which oh. one it is. You <laughs> <laughs> might have had a clue. So, oh, yeah. that it is that one. So, <laughs> so here we have a ceramic Octa Finissimo on a ceramic bracelet, skeletonized dial. And you know, when I was thinking about what would be the perfect watch to give you for Christmas, you're a fan and a lover of all horology. You're into the independence, but you're also into, I would say, the mainstream brands as well. So why I like this watch was because it was Joe Argenta designed. So there's a, for sure, uh, you know, element that trails back to one of the greatest case makers and case designers of all time. There's numerous patents on this movement that Bulgari was able to create. The fact that it's ceramic, you know, you can wear it around. You don't have to worry about the scratches. And you know, I thought that it was something that you could wear all the time, but also a little bit off the beaten path, not you know, not like a Rolex sub, you know, something that you're yeah. gonna see on everybody's wrist, and just like a really individual watch. Oh, thank you. I, 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 <laughs> you're welcome. I, I take this gift, you know, and I'll, I'll wear it with you know, I'll thank you every time I wear it. Yeah. Uh, but no, actually, like this is on the money something that I would love uh, for a gift. The Gerald Genta uh, inspired design there, so you have the history. It's just such a well-made um, watch all the way around. The, the brace is one of the best out there with the ceramic. This is something that I would wear, I would enjoy every day. And I, if I had this, I don't know if I'd wear many other watches, to be honest with you, because it is still very durable. That was always my it thing is. in the beginning. It's, awesome. it's you not know. delicate, even though it looks delicate. Exactly, it looks delicate, but when you feel it, you know that you're not going to break it. I, I break things, so I, I was worried <laughs> about that. But no, I, I will. I thank you for this gift. No, uh, it's my know. pleasure. You know, when, I, um, we, when we talk about watches giving watches as gifts, you know, I think that watches in general, they're, you know, they're very individualized. I know that the, the slogan has been popularized, but you really can hand them down to another generation, without a doubt. which is, you know, and at the same time, it's just there's something special. There's a connection between the person and the watch that can last for a really long period of time, and there's not that many other items out in the world that are quite like that. No, they're definitely little time capsules, right, of memories. And you're right, when you buy a watch, you're not just buying, or when you're gifting a watch, I should say, you're not just gifting it for somebody to use one t one time. They're going to use it many, many times. So for Mr. Manjos, you know, I chose this beautiful Lonnie Saxonia blue dial for you. <laughs> and the reason why I chose this for you, you're a tough guy because you have a few watches. I have you, a few watches. You're, um, but your daily wear is usually the deep sea or something sporty. Correct. So I was like, I, you know, if I got him something, it wouldn't be another sporty watch. I know you love Lange. And I could see you once in a blue moon on a nice occasion wearing this beautiful saxophone. He's not going to be able to read that dial. Yeah, hey, listen. I can read that dial. Is, okay? I know what time <laughs> it is. The blue Langes are my absolute favorite. I'm Amazing. obviously a blue guy. I love it. Um, love their automatics. The rotors on them are amazing. I love everything about the platinum counterweight, the, but the blue dials, and they're really truly rare. I mean, Lange yes. does not do a, they did this series of three different variations a few years ago, uh, but you do not see very many blue Langas, and it's awesome. And not, they've always held it as like a, like a special, a special, a special color, color yeah, for, exactly. for special watches. Exactly. And I think that's an that's actually an amazing choice. I'm quite impressed, Q. Yeah, and I, I know you might. I, I know you. Because I was like, if, if we do like anything sporty, like it just gets lost in the fray, right? But yeah. something like this, Been like there, done that. You know, I could see you once in a blue moon. You know, you wearing it, and you, you remember seeking. Yeah. You know, when, when you got it. So that, that's a winner. That is a winner. All right. So I got to pick a watch for Brian, Ooh. and Brian is not an easy guy to pick a watch for. I'll be honest with you, because that you are probably one of the most sophisticated watch guys I know. Um, you certainly have a, you know, your share of paddocks and other things, uh, but you definitely have eclectic taste, which I find interesting, because you wouldn't think that. I'm like a so fine wine. You are like a fine wine. Yeah, it takes some time to get used yeah. to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to let it breathe for a little bit. <laughs> yes. um, but this is a Gronfeld. They make about 75 pieces a year. It's their cool stainless steel Principia 1941. I just love what they're doing. Um, it's two brothers. You can just tell... I saw somebody post one of their watches the other day, and the two brothers both responded to the post, which I just thought was cool, because mm -hmm. they seem as into it as we are. 
Um, there's just something they, about the fact that somebody's the over there making this. The brand beats from them. Yes, exactly, very much so. And I just think, you know, with the connection of family and watches, um, and I think it looked good in pink. So do I. <laughs> you know, I, I am honestly, you know, I am a big fan of salmon dials. The case size for this watch happens to be perfect. Um, you know, they could have gone with an overly large case size, but the movement itself was designed for this case size. It fits me incredibly well. Uh, I'm a big fan of what they produce. I think that as far as the independents go, they're probably one of the ones really to look at. Yeah. They're really up guys, and, I feel like they're up and comers. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Guys, I think that you're gonna, you see, you're gonna see a lot of really special things coming from them. I think so too. Yeah, I agree. I first fell in love with this Simon Dow and the Remontoir mm -hmm. that they do, which is just an amazing piece. We had a great collector's conversation if you guys wanna scroll back in the archives and see, but it is one of the best Simon Dows out there. There's a little bit of a, a shimmer to it and it just really plays with the light perfectly. I can see you. Everything I love about it is the attention to detail that they yeah. do on everything from the movement to the dials, even down to the straps. One of the things that I always say about Salmon uh, is that it doesn't go with anything, so it goes with everything, <laughs> right? So like when you're, when you're trying, to, ex like when you're trying to explain yeah. it, like they're like, oh, like when can you wear it? I'm like, well, like, you know, Salmon doesn't really go with anything, but so because of that, you can actually just wear it with, with anything. So uh, this was a great choice for me. And uh, it's, you know, you know me well. <laughs> So we have some other cool pieces, you know, uh, are there any tips you'd give somebody, you know, who's a little bit newer into watches, they're going to buy some something for somebody. What, what's like a few tips or like a pointer that you shoot out of somebody who's like trying to figure out what to get for somebody else? Uh, you know, I'd like to ask a lot of questions. You know, what is the purpose of the watch? Do they have other watches in their collection? How often are they going to be wearing it? When are they going to be wearing it? And once I know a little bit more information about the person and you know, even what the occasion is and when they're going to be wearing it, I can sort of tailor my recommendations based on that. Um, you know, ultimately, I like to, you know, if the person sort of already knows what watch the person wants, you know, very often, you know, that's the case. Hints you know, the recipient's be been, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I know those, yes. has been looking at watches for a while and it's sort of like, hey, I, you know, I know he or she already wants that watch, but are there any other recommendations that you have? <laughs> and like, my first thing is like, listen, I'm happy to make other recommendations. Don't overthink this. <laughs> Just if they gave you a clue, if they, take if it. If they gave you a clue, <laughs> take it. So um, that's no. actually great. Well, I'll, I'll, lead, I'll <laughs> lead you to that because my choice was a, a gift for my wife, um, and she has absolutely dropped a little clue here, and it's the new OP uh, Tiffany Blue. Um, and my wife never asks for a watch. She wears a Milgauss every day. Um, she beats the crap out of it. I love that fact. Um, but she took one look at that and she's like, I need that. Yeah, well, <laughs> that dial, you know, even in the pictures, like it's one of those watches from the pictures you knew it was going to be a winner. The blue is like, it's Tiffany blue. You know what I mean? It's like the perfect blue. Like what's not to love? I actually like these for like, to me, this is the best his and hers in the industry right now. You know, like if, if you want to do a match and set, depending if you want to do same size, smaller size. I love the color OPs. Like you could do, I don't know, anything you want with it. And it's like, it's a little feminine, it's a little masculine. Like you can, and she'll wear the big one, which is kind of fun because she's not big by yeah, any means. But you can and steal it once in a yeah. while, you know, yeah. keep the links on the side. Yeah, no, that's actually a great choice. Yeah, I mean, for me, this was actually, this was my pick for best new release of 2020. I think that only Rolex can introduce what is their now entry level watch right. and have it overnight become a sensation and become one of their most impossible to get watches. Because it so, should have been a sleeper. By, I mean, it's a, you know, it's a no day, plain, simple yeah. watch. You know, but color, pastel is in right pop. now, things that, things that pop on the wrist. And, you know, again, it's, you know, at, I want to say, is it 5950 retail? Is that right? 5900 I think. Yeah, yeah. so, yeah, so right at $5,900, you know, I would say that it's, you know, a price point that's available to many that are interested in looking at the Rolex line. And, you know, they're unique, they're interesting. And, you know, again, like, you know, we say like, leave it to Rolex to be able to just change a dial color and have it be nuts. And like, that's really that's what, what they, they did. did. That's what yeah. they did. Yeah. So, I mean, nuts. The, the sign of a good restaurant is when like, even their appetizers are sold out, right? And that's the thing with <laughs> Rolex, it's like, <laughs> You, you, came know, you came prepared for this yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen, come, come on, come on, come on. I love that. You know, you know, CQ comes with the goods. So, um, <laughs> um, so I was thinking, you know, for a new collector, you know, what's something unique, what's something fun, maybe 
they've been looking at watches, but they haven't had a watch yet, or you just want to get something unique. And as you all know, I really, really love Breitling. There's so many crazy uh, good price points and good value to find. But this in particular is the Breitling for Bentley Premier, um, the Bentley edition with that beautiful kind of wood dial, a wood look dial, which I really, really love. Match it in, inside of the Bentley. The Premier, I feel like, is a really, really good piece. Uh, for somebody who is just wants something fun, wants something a little bit more unique, they fit good on big and smaller wrists, and I just like a nice, you know, two sub dial chrono there, in house movement. Really, not much more you could want. And if you know, for a new collector, I think this gives them a unique piece, something that they can have fun, something that's an icebreaker, but it's still a watch guy's watch and a car guy's watch as well. So you could hit, uh, you know, two birds with one stone right there. I love that wood dial. I mean, the, yeah. I was looking at that before, the Burlwood dial. And I love the, you know, the stitching from the seats. You know, looks like it would match up beautifully. Great, great hit for the new collector or, you know, anybody who just wants something funky. And I love the Breitling Premieres. So there's one more watch on the table here. We have a stainless steel Sermariner, which I thought was a great watch to give to my son. So he's only five. But uh, you know, I grow into it. He'll grow into it. But uh, I purchased a watch for each of my kids when they were born, um, as a gift for them to have and to wait and to hold until one day, you know, I can almost re-gift it to them at a point in time when they'd be able to wear it. And I thought long and hard about what I wanted that watch to be, and I thought that there was no better watch to give than a stainless steel Sermariner with date. You know, they're. They're incredibly well made. It's something that they could wear every single day and they could wear all the time. It's a watch that would stand the test of time. Never go out of style. Never go out of style. And uh, just, you know, there's just nothing quite like getting that green box. Yeah, I, I think that's a great gift. You know, many, many a sub we bought, you know, traveled throughout generations of a family. Um, it's probably one of the most like iconic gifts you can give, right? Because you can wear it a little bit, you have some fun, but then when he gets of age, he can wear it, he can go to college, and then pass it on to his son, and pretty much the watch will be there. You know, maybe mm -hmm. a few links might be beat up, or a little this or that, but pretty much it'll be the same watch. I think that's awesome. Will you do engraving? Uh, I did engrave them. Oh, nice. That's I think the other thing that I love From is- From dad, getting, not for sale. Is you're getting, uh, getting them for their birth year. Yeah, yes. I mean, I think I've seen a lot of people do this for 40th and 50th. You know, getting a watch from the year you were born is just an awesome memento yeah. to me that you can, you know, have one. And the sub is never going to go out of style. And literally, we have them that are 40 years old and don't look that much different. Yeah, I mean, no, pretty. Really. That's an awesome touch. What will the sub in 20 years look like? That's, that's pretty, really much, pretty much the same. Pretty much the same.